Hi everyone, it's me Hee Ian. and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to be sharing some college tips for NEU students. So whether that may be incoming students or even transferring NEU students, I just really want to share some really cool tips. I asked on my Instagram what kind of tips they would want to share with people and I received a lot, a lot of tips and I'm super excited to share all of them with you today. So I have eight different sections of things that I'm going to cover and so let's just get started into it. So the first section that I'm going to talk about is social life tips so you want to get involved you want to you want to get in that social life join a club to join a club it is very easy for example i joined the disney club and the hop hawaiian club and now i'm an incoming junior and for the hop hawaiian club i'm their social media person so i run their social media and for the disney club i'm the vice president of finance so i'm using that money that we were getting as a club and we're gonna go to disneyland we went to disneyland this past year and it was literally the best trip i ever went to for disneyland and I've been to Disneyland a lot so I'm super excited to go back to Disneyland with my new Disney Club members and my past Disney Club members so definitely join a club that like makes you feel like you belong it makes you feel happy Disney Club and Hopple Wine Club is one of my favorites and that's why I joined them because one I love Disney two I'm from Hawaii so I needed to make that group of friends that was my home away from home the next tip that I have is campus events during the first week of school there are so many campus events such as football games, any type of sports games. We also have our welcome events and even our letter events for, that we host for housing. That is when we get all the incoming people coming to NAU and we create the NAU letters. I'll probably put a picture on the screen, but last year was the first time I ever got to do it. It was super fun. They also have a club fair at that event, so if you want to join a club, that's an even better place to join it as well. Another way you can get socially involved is by hanging out with your roommate. They may have a group of friends and and that's how you meet new people and if you aren't close with your roommate go around your hall and knock on doors introduce yourself leave your door open and be like hi i'm he -E, like this is my room if you ever want to hang out just like knock on my door and i'll be here something like that and that's how you can just make some new friends and definitely during the first week of school you need to get out of your room make sure you go explore and attend campus events because that's how you're gonna make those friends. Also a roommate thing is to lay out your expectations that you have with your roommate. If you want to be besties, lay that out. Say, I'm looking for in a roommate a bestie. If they don't want to, then that's okay. Then you should already have like probably laid out your expectations before moving in because if they don't want to, it can kind of leave an off feeling and that's definitely not fun. And if they don't want to be your bestie, that's fine. You can find other besties around by joining clubs, like your classes, just meeting new people all around campus so the second area that I'm gonna cover is clothing tips so be prepared to walk around everywhere on campus for those events as well as just classes in general so make sure you have a really good pair of footwear um whatever you prefer honestly sometimes I go in my slippers sometimes my crocs even shoes I don't know it just depends on the day but I'm okay with wearing whatever if my feet don't hurt it's fine also I suggest bringing winter clothes a lot of people put in the tips to bring flannels or other throw-ons they're gonna be your best friend bring a windbreaker you might not think it's windy outside but you'll never know until it's too late don't forget your snow boots invest in a good pair of snow boots as well as a puffer coat wear warm clothes especially if you're from hawaii that is a big thing <laughs> it's really cold up there we do get four seasons in flagstaff so just be prepared for that snow i know my freshman year we got snow in the fall semester i want to say we got it like late late october um which is kind of early on so just be prepared in case and then the next section that i have is dorm tips so i will be a community assistant in riley hall so if you are on the second floor or the first floor i will be your ca actually i will be your ca on the first floor on the second floor depending on which side you're on i will have you as well so if you're there Hi, I'm Hee, I'm your CA. It's so nice to meet you. I can't wait to see you in person. And I'm going up in about 20 days to start preparing to be a CA and I can't wait for you guys to move in. But as a CA, I do have a lot of dorm tips as I am 
there for you so go to the housing events such as the NEU letter event because there will be clubs there again as I said there will be a club fair and that's when you get to meet people and why not meet people there go down with your roommate or even people that are going with their hall I'm sure a group of CAs will be there to take you down to the letter event so make sure to look out for that as well make sure to go the, to your events that your CA hosts um, it is a part of your housing that you pay for whether there may be snacks or materials a lot of CAs do DIY events or even just like a soda movie night or popcorn or something like that so definitely come down for those kind of things I definitely want you guys to be there and just know if you're living on campus rely on your CA they're there for you they're there to help you if you have any questions feel free to reach out they're not scary at all and if you have roommate problems go to them they'll help you again you don't have to be besties with your roommate find other people that you may like or enjoy more if you are having roommate problems again reach out to your ca they're not that scary and they will help you through those kind of situations but don't forget to go to your one-on-ones with your ca we are not scary again and we <laughs> kind of are required to do one-on-ones with you we want to get to know you we want to make sure you're doing all right so please come to your one-on-ones Please schedule one. Yeah. <laughs> also, get out your dorm, especially during your first week. I do want to emphasize that. And definitely make time for yourself and don't overload yourself with school and your work. You also want to make sure your dorm is that space where you can unload yourself and just like kind of detoxify yourself. Sometimes you may get really overwhelmed just because you're in a new place. You're transitioning from your hometown to this town, so it's a lot different. Definitely make sure you have time for yourself. Use the resources you pay for, so stay active, such as going to the gym. Do a fit class, they're just one credit and it's super fun. For example, I believe there's like a rock climbing class, a tennis class, swim, like aerobics and stuff like that. I did a ski class. So I was skiing down my way down Mount Humphreys. So you can do those kind of fit classes. It's super fun. Although the ski class only happens in the spring semester because that's when the ski season is or snowboard season, whatever you prefer. Definitely use your resources that are offered to you. Everything that is at the university, all those events, you are technically paying for them with your student dues. So make sure you go to all of them and just live it up i got a tip from somebody else that says don't buy a keurig look for dumb stuff from resale sites don't bring your entire closet i'd say don't bring your entire closet is true you don't want to have too much stuff um as for like a keurig it's personally up to you if you really love coffee then get it i have a keurig and if you are an out-of-state student maybe don't buy resale stuff because it's kind of hard to get that if you're from out of state if that makes sense Moving on to the next section is class tips. Don't schedule 8 a.m.s. You will have to literally walk to your class in 25 degree weather. Who wants to do that? I know my freshman year and my first semester, I had an 8 o'clock class. Never again have I taken an 8 a.m. class. Like, no thank you. Thank God it was on Zoom because I think I would have died. I did not even wake up for some of my classes and that was on Zoom. I was sleeping on that. <laughs> So just do yourself a favor and don't schedule yourself 8 a.m. classes. So my next tip that I have for classes is more so for studying. Definitely find a good studying spot that fits for you. Do that within the first month or so because you definitely will be needing a good study spot as midterms and finals will be coming up really fast. Areas that you can study is your balcony of your dorm, the library, the dining hall, like upstairs, even the international student area. There's a really cute area. Nobody goes in there and you can just study your by yourself. Just find a good place that fits for you. A local coffee shop works as well and um, the next area this is where i was so confused my freshman year dining meals yes dining meals i was so confused there are many different plans and options for dining meals and i will show them on the screen here so let me kind of just explain what they are so the first one is the 19 meal plan the 14 meal plan the 10 meal plan unlimited meal plan and then they have like different blocks where you can have 150 meals per semester, 100 meals per semester, or 50 meals per semester. My freshman year, I went with the cheapest option, which was the 10 meals per week with $400 dining dollars. And that worked with me perfectly, but it's up to your personal preference. And then somebody did share a tip where if you buy less of a meal plan, you'll have more dining dollars. As I was saying, 10 meals per week, 400 dining dollars, that's quite a bit. And it's also worth it when you have an active social life because a lot of your friends will be wanting to go to the dining halls with you and just hanging around campus and you definitely want to like 
go and get food with them so that's also a plus something else that really confused me was transfer meals i had no idea what they were like i literally thought i had the 400 dining dollars and that was it but the transfer meals is what gets you into the dining hall you have 10 of them it also works for other places such as subway starbucks and jamba juice and stuff like that specifically for the 10 meal plan you'll just kind of get the basics so at jamba juice you'll get probably eight drinks and a medium size starbucks you'll only get iced or hot grande drinks with a pastry a subway you'll get a six inch with a drink and chips as a ca i do get a free meal plan so i have the 14 meal platinum which is amazing honestly because that means i can get any drink at drama juice a bowl from drama juice i can also get at starbucks any grande iced hot frappuccino drink with a pastry but i can also get like a ham and cheese croissant so not any sandwiches but like something a little higher than just the basics at subway i have the option of getting a six inch but with three different options of chips, cookies, or a soup, which I personally like. And at all the other Starbucks on campus that isn't like in the Union or down on South, such as the Library Starbucks or the one by Chick-fil-A, you can also get any venti sized thing, which is honestly amazing with the Platinum. I was shocked I could get that. And you bet I use that <laughs> anytime I got. I definitely got a lot of ventis and I definitely need to work out but you know that's okay that is okay <laughs> but that's kind of dining meals explained if you guys need me to go into depth about dining more definitely leave that in the comments and i can make a whole video about it because it is quite confusing or if you need help literally just contact me on any type of social media i will literally take you out and show you how the dining meals work like let me know i will literally help you and even as a ca girl i got you or boy i got you I can cover your meal so let me know reach out and i can definitely help you off to the different subjects how are you going to get off campus so if you did bring a car that's great and if you need help on the parking passes literally get them as soon as possible i believe they come out like august 1st but so get it like literally then because it sells out so fast and no prior what parking lot you're in or what area you want to go in because it does sell out like this but if you don't have a car that is totally okay i caught the bus my freshman year and it was super easy so i definitely suggest during the first week get to know the different buses and where they're going to such as the mountain line does take you down to downtown and to walmart which is on the other side I can also put a map of what it takes you and then there's three different lines for the NAU campus shuttles and it goes around different areas at different times so definitely look at that and make sure you know when the bus closes because you could be at the library and your hall is on the other side of campus and the bus is shut down and you have to walk so make sure you know what time the bus closes I've definitely done that before and I've had to walk to the other side and it's not fun the next section let me put my my sweater on for this because i'm about to tell you <sighs> go greek <laughs> so the next section i'm going to be talking to you guys about is go greek so join sorority life it is also another great aspect to get socially involved i'm in ao pi so definitely go greek go through recruitment it's super fun if it's not for you you can just go through recruitment see how it is if you don't like any other sororities or anything it's not for you then that's fine that's totally okay at least you went through the process and now you know what it's like but yeah i was not really expecting to go Greek my freshman year until somebody reached out and I was like, you know what, I want to make friends, let me join it. And I did and I was chosen to be an AOPI and I love it so much. My end of freshman year, beginning of sophomore year, I was their vice president of finance. So I got involved during leadership that way. So that was really fun, but I'm no longer in any leadership position just because my CA life kind of took over and so did my other clubs. So I put my time into that, but definitely join a sorority. It's super fun. I do have a video about Greek life and everything you need to know about sorority life. So definitely check that out. It's probably up here or somewhere and it'll have way more information about that. The next subject and the last subject that I'm going to talk to you guys about is kind of just miscellaneous. It's other tips that I got. So with the wind and the fast weather drop, you definitely want to get eye drops and lotion. My hands were so dry, like especially here. So lotion really helps. And if your eyes get really dry, eye drops will really help you. Again, I did want to emphasize to ride the bus. It's not scary. It's not embarrassing. Everybody catches the bus to their classes. Make sure you just know when you're classes are and i gotta tell you 
you definitely need to download this app it's called any you go and it will literally be a lifesaver for you it gives you your jacks card you get to know like where the bus is at how much like transfers and dining dollars you have left as well and if you work on campus you can even clock in on here stuff like that safety is really important at any use campus so calling the NEU police you can just call 911 and they can direct you um, but also they have like safety apps for that as well and then to get onto like your Louis and academics and stuff like that housing your BB learn or I don't even know if they're gonna change it change BB learn and stuff like that but you can go ahead take your time explore this app it's really great I honestly suggest it to every person as a freshman I would definitely recommend to take NEU 100 I was an NEU 100 instructor last year and it was really fun it was only eight weeks long and they teach you everything you need to know about NEU and how to survive college whether that may be mental health physical health just tips on getting around campus how to tell which way is north and south on campus north is the mountains and south is towards like the dube and stuff like that I don't know that's just what helps me if people say they're gonna be on north campus that just means towards the mountain and if people say they're gonna be on south campus that's the business college that's the dube football stadium so that's where things are gonna be so if you guys have any more questions definitely leave a comment down below and I'd be really happy to answer reach out to me on Instagram I'd be happy to follow you and answer any questions you have there as well I hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget to leave a like comment and subscribe and let me know what kind of video you guys want to see next I'll see you guys later and let's go Jax woohoo bye when the lining's on your cheeks Cause baby in your absence life is